Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. Stampin' Sue Creates here, here to do an unboxing of my paper pumpkin. So this is the July 2021 paper pumpkin subscription box. I'm gonna get some of these fuzzies off my desk. I was working with fabric yesterday that like a, oh, I don't know, like a minky kind of thing and it shed all over the place. Shed, I said, shed, not the other word, okay. So anyhow, um, finally, my paper pumpkin arrived within a reasonable time. Many of you may notice, or maybe you didn't, I did not do an unboxing of the June paper pumpkin because it got lost somewhere. And by the time I received it, it was already like 4th of July weekend. And I was like, well, I'm not even going to do an unboxing. So all I did is I opened it up and I made the cards as they were and didn't do anything different. But um, today is July 24th, 2021, and my box arrived yesterday. Was it yesterday? Huh. It was either the 22nd or 20, the 22nd or 23rd. I don't remember now. Anyhow, today's the 24th, and so let's take a look at it. So when you open it up, and if you're not familiar with this, this is a monthly subscription box by Stampin' Up. It costs $22 a month. That's it. And what you usually get inside is a, um, I'll go over that other paper in a moment, is a stamp set. And look at the size of the stamp set. I'm telling you, look at the size of this tree. Here's my pointer finger. It's the same length as my pointer finger. And I'm telling you, they're getting larger and larger as the time goes. Now, when you first subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you'll receive a block. Um, this is our standard blocks, but this is the size block. And I think this is a D. Yeah, D size block. So keep that in mind because the stamps will never be larger than the free block that comes in your first kit. Okay, it's a little bit, a little bit thinner. Um, but it does come in your first kit. So let's take a look at the stamp set. We have two trees. So we have the bold image and a more um, detailed image. This would be great if you stamped this image and then embossed over top with that with gold or silver, it'd be amazing. Um, we also have some, they look like butterflies. Don't these look like butterflies to you? They look like butterflies, I can't be sure. Um, and then we have this little, they look like little dashes. And the sayings are dream big, aim high. I love that. Uh, let your light shine. Oh, maybe they're supposed to be lightning bugs. Let your light shine. I haven't seen anyone do an unboxing, so I don't know what they all said. So we have explore, congrats, uh, the world awaits you, and let the adventure begin. My dog is hacking up something, so I apologize if you heard that. Who knows what she's getting into or got into. I'll have to check on that. Um, we get an ink, flip it around. We get an ink spot, which is just a miniature ink pad. Let me pull. This one looks like it's garden green. Let me get my garden green so I can show you. These are our standard ink pads that you can purchase, but it comes with same exact color. You can get reinkers that you can purchase all the other supplies through my online store at stampinsucreates.stampinup.net. I will put a link down below. So you do get your ink spot. And um, let's take a look at this paper that I put aside. So this is a little sneak peek at the August paper pumpkin box. And I'm telling you, I saw a video on this. Head on over to my Facebook page at Stampin' Sue Creates. I have it posted there. And it is put out by Shelly Gardner. And she is calling this the Hope Box. So it's a, a Hope paper pumpkin box kit that reminds us to seek connection cherish friendship and share hope keep your subscription active through august 10th so you don't miss out on shelly's one-of-a-kind hope box so you do have to make sure if you're new or if you're a current subscriber that you continue to keep your subscription going because as of august 10th that is the last day so keep that in mind if you want to give it a try this would be the box, a great box to give a try. Okay, so it always comes wrapped in tissue paper. Sometimes if you notice, um, this box is, is like a collector box. So it's a great little um, 
venture off from what our normal um, poppy parade color boxes are. So let's go ahead and take this out. And the boxes are great because they're sturdy and there's nothing glued on them, so they do come all apart. You could turn them right the inside out so that this is on the outside and you can repurpose, make a bunch of cards, maybe these and give them to maybe someone that's in a nursing home or uh, a friend or relatives. The holidays are coming. It'd be great to make a bunch of cards up and give as a gift. I like to save the tissue paper because I'm always looking for tissue paper. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're worried about the wrinkles, throw a dry iron over it. Be careful though. Wow, this is a thick one. So let's take a look. So the adventure begins June 2021. And oh my gosh, it's like a little camping theme. So that, there we go. Lightning bugs. Is that what you call them where you're at? What else would you be calling them? Um, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Do you know them as lightning bugs? I can remember as a kid, I am in northeastern Pennsylvania. There used to be a ton of lightning bugs. We used to get, uh, we'd go to my grandmother's, we would get one of her jars, because you know, she saved every jar, because you know, you can use every jar. And we poked holes in the lid, and we would collect them and put them inside, and, and it actually would like light up, it was, it was fun. Unfortunately, we don't see that many of them anymore, so I'm apologizing to the lightning bugs for collecting you all, and you know, maybe leading to your demise. Sorry. Um, piece of cardboard, chipboard, nice piece of chipboard. If you're into making all kinds of books and things, you might want to save them. Or you know what's also great? Let me give you another idea. Take some aluminum foil, cover this with aluminum foil. And when you're doing your heat embossing, take a little clip and hold it on and um, it makes a great radiant of heat so that when you're doing your heat embossing, the uh, heat will heat, well, it will heat from the undersurface of the card along with on top. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, burning your fingers or touching anything. So it's a great idea, things to do with it. Okay, sorry. All right, so these are the instructions and these are super cute. I'm so excited to begin. And notice, if you haven't seen an unboxing in a while, Stampin' Up! is really stepping it up by providing full color directions, um, no verbiage, which is fine by me because I'm a visual person. And also we have an online uh, YouTube channel. So be sure to check that out and it will take you step by step to show you how to assemble your projects. And also on Facebook, there is a paper pumpkin group on Facebook. And, um, oh, I'm excited about this, too. I mean, it's always the little things. See down along here? There's a whole ruler, and it goes all the way to 18 inches. Thank you, Stampin' Up! Because a lot of times you're cutting your twine, cutting your ribbon, and 18 inches is a lot of the times what the length is for. So they have even made us a nice little ruler down here on the bottom. All right, so let's take a look at the back. So here on the back, it shows you everything that's included, tells you all the kit components, the coordinating colors. There is also a um, QR code that you can scan. Sorry, that's my dog, uh, that you can scan. So you can check out detailed instructions and do more with this month's kit. There's a few other samples on here. I apologize showing you different samples and things you can do with the kit. Well, now here comes my cat. Now she just tripped over my ink pad. I'm telling you, the gang's all here. Everyone's excited for Paper Pumpkin. So before we have any other unrequested guests, which there are no others, let's take a look. We have this little packet and inside we have, these are sequins, self-adhesive sequins. Look how pretty they are. We also have some glue dots, and we have some Stampin' Dimensionals, not too many this time. So that means there's not a whole lot of gluing. So all you really need to add to this kit is maybe a pair of paper snips, $10 item, great to have. When you're there ordering these, be sure to get two. Keep one that you use for paper cutting. Keep the other one, tie a ribbon on it, and keep those for your ribbon and twine cutting scissors. 
because once you cut paper with them, they're not sharp enough to cut your ribbon. Oh my gosh, look at the fun envelopes. Let's see, are they all the same? There are a lot of them here. Yes, they are. So I'll be sure to check because I'm sure I'm gonna be doing some alternative ideas. And a lot of times I use the envelopes for alternative ideas. You can just take them apart and incorporate them into your cards. So how many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11? Am I adding that right? That seems odd. You would think you'd get 12. Let's count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I guess when I was looking at this, there must be one behind behind here that was hiding. So 12 cards. And my neighbor is probably out doing yard work or something. So my dog feels as though she needs to alarm the neighborhood that someone is outside. So Aurora. Oh, now these, are, oh my goodness, these are fun. These are trifold card. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, um, oh, and this pops out. Like I said, I haven't seen anyone. Um, I saw a picture of what what it kind of was, which was basically somebody had posted um, a picture like of this, but I really, you know, you can't really tell much by that. So uh, let's check this out. These are gonna be so fun to make. And I remember a while back, so this I would assume you would discard, or you can use this to stamp on and cut out. I remember a while back I made an actual light up card with a lighthouse. I believe I have a video somewhere. And it was with a little electronic device that you just press on it and it lights up. So imagine if you were to do that, because you know what? This looks like these little things pop out. Oh, they do. So it's a cute little lantern. And I mean, who doesn't love lanterns and, and the outdoors? So let's take a look at this. So, okay, so this is scored for you. Look how cute that is. I can see this being a shaker card. You can go ahead and trim the top off and do a little um, of the uh, Stampin' Dimensionals and make a little shaker card. That would be so cute. But I love the trifold. Stampin' up, yeah, you rock. Okay, so let's continue. So we have one, two, we know there's four of each. So that's that one. Oh, let the fun continue. Oh my gosh, are they all trifolds? This one, the little, circle in the center pops out. Now you do want to be careful when you're poking this out. You know, it is just paper. Now again, you can stamp on this, punch it out, use your die cut machine. Oh, this one is fun too. I'm thinking though, you probably would want to keep that in while you fold it. So here's how that one looks. Aren't these fun? These would be great to use in your scrapbooking too. I mean, you could put a little picture behind there. How cute would that be when you, if you're, you know, your children and grandchildren went to camp or something, they have a picture. It'd be so cute to put a picture there and, you know, really fun. I love that. So there's going to be four of those. Hello, Dory. Dory, would you like to say hello to my friends? Mm, sorry, I guess not. She jumped down. Maybe that's a way to get her to jump down. Oh my goodness. You know, we were just talking about these retro campers. Um, I would love to have one of these little campers, hook it up to my little rogue, which I don't know if she, if Pearl, which is my rogue, can even haul one. But, um, and again, here's another piece that you can stamp on and cut out. But, um, we were just talking about camping and I was just telling, oh, there's another little piece here, telling my kids about how I would love to have one of these little campers and just you know, go about the country. Well, this is when I retire. I have a few more years yet. And just visit the country in a little camper. Wouldn't that be fun? But look how fun that is. So again, you know, think of the different things you can do with this. Honestly, these are so, so fun. Okay. And it's starting to look like it's gonna rain or something. I didn't think it was going to, but who knows? Okay, so it looks like here we have some circles and some little flagged pieces that I would assume you stamp on. Aren't they cute? So you have a page of those. 
And oh, look at these. These are, oh yeah, be careful with this one too. This is a little tree on a little piece. I'm not sure where that all goes. Let's take a look at the instructions here. Huh, I'm not sure where that goes. Oh, here, it goes on this one. Okay, so you stamp on the bottom of that. That's super fun. And then looks like we have some trees. These also pop out. And they are nicely cut, but it's just a little delicate, so you do want to be careful. Here's little trees. Let's take a look. Where do we see the trees? Oh, maybe here? Looks like you stamped that other image on top. Where is the stamp set? I would assume. You have to be careful about assuming because you know what happens. Yeah, you see how that image goes right over the top of that to give it some dimension. So this is a super fun kit. Um, if you're not yet a subscriber, be sure to check it out. Go head on to my online store. Again, it's Stampin' Sue Creates. That's stampinup.net. I will be creating the suggested cards along with some alternatives. So be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So when you do that, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Because you won't want to miss out on this or any other videos that I post. I want to thank you so much. And I hope you stay safe and you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.